What's going on guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video. Well last time we made this room right here which is where all the refineries are that's going to make the heavy oil residue which is taking in 30 crude oil per minute which is going to output 40 heavy oil residue per minute and also 20 polymer resin as a byproduct. And this whole left side here is a duplicate of this whole right side so this side does the same as that one and yeah Bob's your uncle. But from this room right here, we need to go through these doors and I'm going to show you how we built the next stage, which is this bit right here with the blenders, which is going to make the fuel, which is going to give us our juicy, juicy power. But I'm also going to show you how to solve some fluid problems that you are more than likely going to be having, especially when it comes to these fuel lines and you're making extensive lines and you come to the end and you find out that some of your machines are actually not operating and keep flashing red and because they're not receiving enough fuel. So I'm going to show you how we do that today as well. But this right here is what the one slice of the pie is going to look like. This is only consuming two crude oil lines. This whole section right here. So as you can see, it's quite a large footprint, but that's taken up by this place right here, which is, yes, our bottled water. Another video where I talk about bottled bloody water. So this whole train station right here, we actually need to duplicate this onto this side of the building as well. But as you can see, right there is, well, where these chimneys are just below us, right here is where we need to actually build the blenders. And then the whole train station is going to go on this side. And then more fuel plants, which is double what we've got over there, is going to get put there as well to give us, like I said, that juicy power. And then that whole footprint of a building will, like I said, will only be consuming these four crude oil, uh, well, 600 lines right here. And then once we've done that, we need to duplicate that whole thing and do it again and bring in four more crude oil lines to make even more power. And who knows, we might do it twice more, but then that's going to take a lot lot longer to build right so let's start today's project and that's going to be going through these double doors right here and this is going to be our playground and underneath is our four lines of heavy oil residue we're going to send to the blenders which is going to be on the left the right and then also that will then get sent to the fuel gens but the first thing we need to do is we need to bust open this wall so we can make it one big conjoining room. And bada bing, bada bosh, there we go. We've now opened up the wall, which means we have already an established walkway here. Uh, and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get the blenders from this side and flip it on this side, which will start the procedure of the next factory here, which will uh, one line of blenders that way and one line of blenders going that way. But if you're watching this in September right now, I'm recording this video live on Twitch. So if you wanna come over and show us some love, Come on over, give us a follow, and uh, come and say hello to Twitch chat. See? Look at all these idiots. <laughs> come and say hello. I promise they'll take care of you. But also remember, if you're enjoying this video, to give it a big thumbs up and uh, leave a comment, even if it's just a bloody emoji. You know how we do it on this channel. Uh, it's very much appreciated, so thank you. So the first thing, we're going to grab ourselves a blender, and I need to try and line this up now and make sure I flip it the right way, because knowing me, as you know, I'm a spoon. I get things wrong all the bloody time. Uh, is that the right distance? Oh my god. First try? First time? Oh my god. I'm a god. I've become a god. I've actually become a god. And then I need to put these... I've evolved. I am now a spatula. Wait, wait. A spatula is not a spoon, is it? A spatula is a, something for eggs, isn't it? <laughs> what an absolute tool. Wait, they're not actually the right way. Oh my god. <laughs> They're actually the wrong way. Oh my god. Great start to the video bits. The output goes on this this side, not the input. I didn't evolve. I got excited for no apparent reason. There we go. Output on this side. Input on that side. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I'm not going to lie. I'm sweating from my eyeballs right now. So we need to put down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the reason that being is because if I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to remember what I've done on the live streams here. And I'm pretty sure if I just dig up these floorings, we have this line, which is, there's an autosave. This could take about 20 minutes. All right, autosave, bloody complete. But anyway, as I was saying, pipes. This pipe, so that one, this line here, boof. I need to see. So this line, this central line is a 600. This five machines on the end, that's five. You are making me 40, 81, 20, 240. That's right, isn't it? 
40, 80, 120, 160, 200. <laughs> I can't even do maths now as well. Five times four bits is 20, is bloody 20. Anyway, so that means that this 200 line is going to go into... Wait, wait, is that 200? Wait a minute, have I actually eff... Oh no, I think I might have effed up this whole entire building. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's the one I did earlier. Pull. Oh, no, I bet you I have. One, two, three, four, five. Five times four, that's 200. So 200 in that pipe is going into here, into a... Don't look. If you don't want spoilers for the end of the video, this is what we're making. <laughs> that's going into this machine. So that's 100 going in there. 100 going in there. Oh, no, we're fine. Oh, oh, my God. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Panic over wave, get back to the video. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Oh, okay. So the reason I was panicking because I was thinking it was 200 heavy or your residue on the input and not the output. But no, sorry. The reason I was getting... I can't English. It's very hot weather in the UK right now, so ignore me, okay? I'm thinking it was 100. No, two, <laughs> 200 on the input. It's 50 because I'm overclocking these to reduce the footprint of the whole uh, entire building. So it's 100 heavy or heavy or your residue on a 200 output. Okay, that's why I was getting confused. We are fine. Well, I don't know why you're panicking. You guys are panicking. It's all your fault. So I get the pipe, bring it along here. Obviously, we're going to need to grab ourselves a little pipeline junction. And we're going to put you into there. And then we're just going to put you in manually. So then we get ourselves a pipe, which go into there, which means 100 fuel will go that way. Oh, well, heavy are your residue. And then another 100 will make its way this way. So we'll put that there, place you in there. And that's that 200 fuel. Now, this one is going into... Well, that's got 600, which means that goes into six machines. So that'll be... One, two, three, four, five, six. Exactly. See, I don't know why, but YouTube bits is stupider than bloody live stream bits. Um, inputs on this side. Yes. Okay. Line up your spoon. Wait. I'm a bit further. No, there. I should be here. There we go. Where's this? Why are you not snapping? Outputs there. Okay. So now we've got one, two, three, four. I just need to put down four more of these. Just like that. And then... Wait a minute. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. And there we go. First time we managed to get them all lined up perfectly. And um, yeah, now we just need to, well, basically do the fuel lines, which we need to do it from this end first because this one's going to go on the middle. So we need to do this side here. So we're going to grab that and I'm going to make sure you are going to line up in the center of the there, which that should be fine. Well, let me change my pipes. Pipeline swatch, change the pipes. And then I need to merge. Wait, how many am I merging here? Th is it three? Yeah, three, three, two. Okay. So then here we need to merge three, three, two. The reason being because these are outputting 200 because I need to overclock them to 200%. Otherwise, I'll have to put 16 down on each line, which I can't really do that because there's a world border in my way. And because I've already pre-done all these, it means I'll have to shift everything and all that kind of stuff. So I could go vertical and start building higher, but I've got a lot more plans in this area yet. So stay tuned. So 200, 200, 200. That's going to go into one Mark II pipe. So we grab you and then we're going to line you up with this one as well. And then this one, like so. And then I'm going to use a Mark I on the output of the... Oh, crap. Get in the wrong, in the wrong bloody hole. There into there. There into there. And then there into blood it there. And then connect these up with a Mark II pipe. And then that comes all the way along here. Wait. And then we get the pipe and bring it all the way to the end uh, as far as we can. And I am going to line it up with these other ones here. Like I saw. And then that one. And then we're going to take it straight through this wall here. Grab that. And then just bring that through the wall like that. And then it'll eventually look like this side. And the reason this has got a blue tip is because that is what is only... Um, has That's a 400 line. So I don't want to make sure, you know, I'll get confused because confusion. Uh, I don't want to mistake this line as a 600 line um, and then put it in a whole wrong setup and then find out it's wrong two days later.
Right, next thing I need to do is just drag the uh, 600 heavy oil residue line. I'm just going to bring that down here and get that inserted into our blenders. So what I'm going to do is connect all these up here and then grab ourselves our pipeline junction and then take that straight into there. Just like this. Why are you orange? Oh, because I was doing fuel lines. Let me go back into colors. Right click. Go down here. Click on pipes. So now every time I build a pipe, it will be purple. I've showed you this multiple times and across multiple videos and even in some tips and tricks videos. So you don't have to paint them all. You can set the default color of what they are when you build them. And now that we've got the heavy oil residue, we all we need to do is go into each of these, make sure we've got the recipe set, and then make sure we've also overclocked all of these to be 200% to compensate for the missing ones. Because like I said, we're just shrinking the footprint down a tiny bit because it's going to be a large building in the end anyway. And then once that's done, I'm going to daisy chain these uh, blenders and I'm just going to find out where the power connector is. Oh, that's a bloody drop. So I'm going to go from there, take it back by one. Got myself a wall, replace it, take it up just like that. Take that all the way behind each of the blenders like so. Then quickly grab that end one, grab yourself a power connector, and then just place it right outside of that node of each machine. And then once done, just remove the walls and then connect that connector, then connect that to the just like that. And then the kind of the semi daisy changed, daisy changed, daisy chained. And then just do it for the rest of them. And then once we've done that, all we need to do is duplicate this what we've just built here to where I'm currently stood on this side. So we'll make sure that the heavy oil residue for the other lines will be here. And then the fuel will come on the opposite side over there. So I'll be back with you in like two seconds. <laughs> well, actually, it will take me a little bit longer to build it. Um, and then I'll show you what we've done. Right, and there we've had it. And as you can tell, I've added a ceiling with the skylights coming through as well. Uh, next thing I kind of want to do, well, we need to actually bring this wall along here, like so, all the way through. Now we want to make sure that this is the walkway here that we get into the room with and then that's going to be another walkway so if that's going to be there that needs to go along there as well ah, it's hard to see in here now i'm going to just take that through there just like so and then i can grab myself a uh, just a straight walkway and we're just going to attach that to there and zoop it well uh, all the way to the end of the room we will then make another exit just like so and then we can punch a hole through the wall there and then this will be our uh, entrance out, well, exit out, I should say. And then that will lead up onto, well, these catwalks. That's a good question. Why are they higher compared to the... Oh, no, because this one's going over. It's going to be similar to this, to this one. So the next thing we need to do is now grab ourselves a barrier. Place that there, move it to the left once. Do the same again. Shift it to the right once, like that. Grab ourselves a door. Aim at that, hold control. Swap that over just like so. And then grab ourselves some... Well, remove that and then grab ourselves some pillars, which I think we're using the small ones, I think. And place that. Uh, maybe it is the bigger ones. Let me check. What did I do here? Oh, I didn't. I did not. I added the beams. Why does that seem a little bit bigger? That's because I was doing this instead. I was taking it. Wait, let me just take that to the end. I was doing it this way instead. So if I grab the pillars. I wasn't actually clipping it through this wall here. I was taking it along like that. Yeah, which is right. But these walkways are actually wrong. I actually removed, I actually put normal ones down, just the, uh, the catwalk, catwalk crossings because I did it that way. So then the railings aren't here on the side because it didn't look right. And then I just grabbed the uh, the modern railings and then just added them to the top. Just like we did in last video, connect them to the line and then just zoop it across there just like that. And then we can add the lights going down there. And there we go. Now I've done the catwalk that goes through the center of the room. Um, I said the catwalk, but it's like more of the central walkway. Uh, what we need to do next is we need to grab ourselves a uh, window. Uh, where is it? The full frame window. And oh, I just need to put the foundation there. So we're going to put a foundation right here. And we're just going to grab ourselves the window and place it just there like that and then we're just going to zoop that all the way across so it kind of looks like it's in a big fish tank kind of and we're going to do this on this side and then also we're going to do it on the other side as well next up what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this beam all the way along here just like this because it's still a little dark in here so when i add more, more well some more lights into here 
And what we're going to do is we're going to make like ceiling lights going along here with like an offset of one sign uh, every so often going along here just with some white lights. And then them uh, signs you can see inside there with the blue and the orange we actually need to do them on the inside and well inside of these and then over there on that corner and uh, i'll show you how i did that in a minute but that's a little bit finicky on how we did that to be honest but also like we did last episode as well i'm putting a window straight up there just like this and then grabbing ourselves a barrier and placing light in there just for a bit of aesthetics with a metal beam metal beam from the top to the center just to kind of divide it up a little bit and then carry on bringing this pillar along here like this we're actually going to paint this black but i'm not going to do it just yet but what i want to do is i want to make sure that these lights go on here so for me to do that i'm i need to grab i think it's going to be from wait let me put that window back there if i put this say here and then take that through like that remove this pillar really uh, well that beam and then grab ourselves a sign uh i think i used that one like that and then all i'm going to do is i'm just going to attach it all the way along like this all the way to the other end of the room but i'm going to go inside of it and then i'm going to change well change the layout first Ooh, change the layout put it to the text remove the text select the color go to black and then set that to i'm just going to put it white with a emission strength of three and then i'm just going to save it like that and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this and then put it on every other one like so and then whatever's the dark one i'm going to remove eventually and then i'm going to put this beam back so i can just zoom that across there and then i'll eventually paint that pillar black like that and then you've got the white lights coming down from the ceiling just like so as well so i'm going to do that all the way along here uh, and then I'll get back to you once that's done and then we can kind of work on the inside lights in here because I still think it's a little bit dark even though we are losing using lumen as well okay so there we go I've now added the lights onto the uh, beam up the top but I've also added the lights over in the other side and it's 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 so much brighter in here now I know it's daytime I know that will affect it but like still it's a lot brighter and a lot better in here so I think we're on the verge of getting this room done I don't think there's anything else but also if we come down here and outside of this room we can see that i've been hard at work and added a sugar ton of bloody fuel gens and this is to make sure that all the fuel that these blenders are making that we've just added will actually be consumed by all of these so the smaller versions which are these ones here are going to be for the 400 fuel and then the ones that are underneath this middle line here so this one and then that one up there is going to be uh, for the 600 lines i have half them and i have i'm going to be overclocking all of these by 200 so we don't have to put 50 down or 25 225 lines to consume a 600 line we're actually going to be dividing that by two because we're going to overclock them all by 200 which means we'll need 25 in total and um, so i've not done that side but this side is powered however over here from this left hand side so if we go over here we can see that these are producing uh, some power for us uh, and if you notice, uh, everything is running nice and smoothly. Uh, and to get on topic with how to actually make sure that these are actually working and, you know, there's no fluid starving these machines, uh, because a lot, that's one of the main problems with fluid, is it doesn't usually reach the end couple of machines, usually the end four. Uh, and the reason I found out, I think it is, is there's been so many different topics on this and so many answers and so many debates. But the one that thing that works for me, and ever since I've done it, I've not had a single problem, making sure that the water pumps are not on the vertical piece of piping. I've now started to only put the pumps on the horizontal part of the pipe. That's the only thing I've done differently. And the reason I think maybe it might be doing that is because when you put a pipe down, a pump down here, there's a little bit of pipe underneath that might require the pulling so this is the only thing i've changed is just adding the the pump to the horiz horizontal part before the lift but if you have an extremely long pipe that goes up i highly recommend you still put one down here but then when you put your pipe down and when you click once it will then show you i may as well do it the mark one because it would be better it'd be easier so if i put a mark one down you can see where that pressure is going to get pushed to so that's where right there it's going to actually pump that water to so if i click that down and i go to put another one down it will snap to that point right there don't go to the snapping point go below that 
Because if you go there, sometimes I, I, it feels like it doesn't grab hold of it. So I go to just below it and that helps. So that's the only thing different I've done and it works like a charm for me. You can see all of them are blue, all of them are blue. And then also these are red because obviously I've not connected these up with the power yet. But that's the only thing different. I've gone through many, many hours over the last two bloody years trying to find out different ways of this. And that's the only thing that is constantly working for me right now and uh, hopefully it helps for you so let me know in the comments below if that works for you but on the other hand we have now done this blender room and now this needs to go into this but as you know we have resin coming out of the refineries and that's what this area is for and that's where we're going to be talking about in the next episode so stay tuned remember to like subscribe and also leave a comment if you need a bloody emoji and check out my other content right here and we'll go over this in the next one which will be in a couple of days hence the reason why i pre-planned this and now there's an auto save anyway check out my other content right here and i'll see you in the next bloody video